Zoomed. Okay. So here I am. Yeah. I'm struggling. <laughs> look at that. Look at that balance. Oh, 2018 coming at you strong. <laughs> so my friends and I went out tonight to celebrate. Can you see me? Do you like my tiara? <sighs> I was hurt in uh, on January 18th, 2015. I was on the back of a motorcycle and a woman made a U-turn into it. And I was ejected over her vehicle. I broke my back in two places. My ribs punctured my lungs and nicked my spinal cord, paralyzing me. So my back isn't what paralyzed me. And I coded twice and was resuscitated. I found myself feeling almost suicidal for the last month and a half. I've been so sad. It's all revolving around this date. I marked that date as the greatest day of my life. It, it gave me so many blessings that could never be replaced. I, could, I would never take this back. Yeah, you know, I get frustrated with the fact that I pee myself constantly and you know, I wear children's pull-ups and it's like, my cat doesn't smell the best. I say it smells like a fish market dumpster. I'm really dramatic, I'm sorry. It doesn't smell that bad, but it's just, everything bothers you and it just, Day in and day out, you're dealing with these struggles and the world around you is still revolving the way it should. And you feel like no one cares. <laughs> like no one cares that you're struggling. No one cares how hard it is for you to accept that, you know, things aren't working the way they should or you're in a little bit more pain today than you were yesterday. And it, it's, it's frustrating and you feel so alone. But you're not because you have a whole community of people that understand what you're going through. My best friend, Taco, Carlos, he said to me, he said, I don't know why you make this such a big deal of this date anyways. It's just another day. You call it the greatest day of your life. So why are you so upset about it? And I literally, he said this to me at the beginning of the night. And the entire night we're out, I'm thinking about this. And this is going through my head. And I'm like, why am I not celebrating this day? It's another day that I'm alive. We dictate how we feel. And I'm choosing not to feel sad anymore. I'm grateful for this journey. It, it slowed me down when I needed it the most. It humbled me when I needed to be humbled. And it made me grateful for things that I lost. What I would give now just to have bladder function, just to, you know, be able to hold my pee in. <laughs> like the smallest things that you you really never would think about losing. I, I didn't even know that it was something I lost until the nurse came in with a catheter and I was like actually a little bit coherent. I think I was a week in the hospital. And she came in to cath me and I was like, what are you doing? Why can't I just go pee on the toilet like a normal person? And she goes, oh, sweetie. And I'm like, what? No, that doesn't answer it. And then I found out, you know, you lose that with paralysis. Three years living this life isn't a lot of time and I need to just suck it up and continue to work. I have a little bit of movement, but people don't realize it's not anything that's like real functional movements. I'm still working towards it while living my life to the absolute fullest. You should use your accident date as an inspiration to yourself. This journey really opens your eyes to a lot and it gave me an amazing platform to spread awareness about what it's like to live with a spinal cord injury you know it really isn't the easiest thing especially being a 25 year old female <laughs> and I'm basically an overgrown toddler I mean my friends call me rug rat <laughs> because typically I don't have pants on and I just roll around in my diaper a lot of people don't surround themselves with positivity I mean my family is so tight between my mom my dad my sister brother-in-law and I'm, I'm very, very fortunate to, to have that. A lot of people don't have family like that. I got rid of a lot of toxic friends. And I've, I've pretty much kept the same friends. I have my childhood friends from Ohio. And then my core group of guys. And then all these wheel friends. Oh my gosh, can we talk about that? <laughs> I have wheel friends everywhere. I'm so fortunate to have all these wonderful people with these incredible stories and these incredible passions and drives to make change in the world. Recently, I've been, I've been really struggling. I've had to have numerous conversations with God throughout the day just to make it through each day. My faith is everything. Like, why? Why do we? It just doesn't make sense to me. I just. Uh, 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 to me, though, I just don't understand why we let uh, a day. It's just a day. It's. Uh, 
do you remember March 10th, 2014 when that boyfriend broke up with you 10, 15 years later? No, because you don't hold on to that. So why are you holding on to this trauma? It's, it's silly, really. I mean, I know you don't want to let it go, but it's like, look, you live with a daily reminder. So why are you going to hold on to that negativity rather than take the positivity from it? I just feel like I was born again. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so blessed. It doesn't make sense that we get upset over something that we can't change. There's no cure for paralysis. So why do we get upset about a day that we can't take back? An injury that we can't just have a cure for? I mean, there's no point, right? Thank you to everyone who watches this video. Um, if you liked it, you know, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Criticism is always good. <laughs> give this video a share and give my channel a subscribe. <laughs> I look a hot mess. I can't.